You're right. Sorry, you can't see me very well. It's about half four, half five in the morning. Um, I'm actually in my garage at the moment, just getting ready to go. Uh, I don't know if you can see here either, but I'm actually not taking the normal way. I'm actually going on bike. Um, I've got a regular bike pannier bag, a little bag at the front of my bike for all my food, and then just my scopes. So I'm going on a proper scopey adventure. Um, but yeah, I'll be letting you know how it goes throughout the day. Welcome to the first instalment of uh, George Carp Diary. See you in a bit. Take out for an urban location then. It's in the middle of a, like a building site, I suppose. It's a safe water project in Telford, Shropshire. I had to bike it all the way through here just to get to my lake. But now I'm going to go find a swim and hopefully have a fish. You're right, this is the first instalment of uh, George Carp Diary. As you can see, I have actually biked it here today. I'm going to be trying to go to a, you know, a few different lakes and hopefully have a few car. Um, it's now 20 to 9 in the morning. There's only me and one other guy on the lake. Um, no one's had anything yet. But I'll probably stay here till about half 10, 11 ish. And if I ain't had nothing, jet off to another to another pool like so yeah it's an installment one I'm going to be trying to do these weekly well whenever I go fishing I'll be filming now um, so yeah you know I'll be showing stuff rigs tackle a lot bait and then you know you can also message me with anything that you need now and even if I don't know it I'll find it out for you um, but yeah without further ado I hope you enjoy watching this episode. I'll try and make them all as entertaining as I can, and you know, I don't want you to get bored whilst watching them. So just make sure you hit like, hit subscribe, and yeah, we'll see how it goes from here. Catch you in a bit. Right, I'm going to talk tackle with you now. And these rods over here, Nash Scopes. Um, been out for a few years now. And I've only just got mine to be honest, but they are a great rod. Um, you're looking at about £150 each. Uh, mine are in £3 test curve, 10 foot. And then you can also get the smaller rod bag, which you know minimises all your gear to as small as you can get it. Um, these rods, you know, people insist on using 12 foot rods, but park lakes where, where I mostly fish and small little private venues don't need 12 footers uh, 3 pound 10s will get you over 100 yards easy um, and the reels I've got on there are uh, Shimano Aero Bait Runners they're the 8000 so again it will get me over 100 yards which is plenty um, but together they're a perfect match so, if you're looking for a smaller rod, um, you know, all your fish tighter swims, etc., scope to a whole range of rods 9 foot, 10 foot. I think they do a 6 foot as well. They do one for spotting and markering, um, bag packs, bibbies, rod bags, and that's a rod bag I'm also using on my bike as it fits nice and small on my back. So, check them out. And yeah, highly recommend them. Nash scopes. Nailed. Go 
show then. First one of the day. Looking at about eight pound. But yeah, beautiful fish. Getting back and then show you what rig I caught him on. Nailed. Eight. Eight. Yeah, roughly. That's it. I've done what I wanted to do. And that was catch fish for the cameras to show you. It's only quarter past nine, so hopefully we'll have a few more. And getting a few knocks on the rod, I just had that little common on. But, you know, at least I'm happy now. I ain't come out here early in the morning in the cold for nothing so so yeah I'll show you that rig just before I go to the next lake and yeah wild chuffed the rig was absolutely nailed Get an inch back in the mouth so I know that's working so yeah that'll be coming up shortly yeah, right. I think I'm just going to give it about another half an hour here with this lake. Um, I've had the one fish as you've seen. As you've seen. Um, but yeah, I'm going to about half an hour more, reel in the rods, get them in the rod bag, net, mat, get them on the bike, and then, you know, adventure out a bit more. You know, that's, that's what I love about these scope rods. It doesn't limit... It doesn't limit your fishing, whereas 12 foot rods, carrying a bivvy, um, you know, all the tackle that you need. You can't, you can't go anywhere except one lake really, whereas I'm shrunk down my tackle as small as I can, so that's why I've got the scopes, scope rod bag. And now I've just got a, a bike pannier on the back, and then a little bag on the front. That's just got my lunch in on the front, and then like my bait, my box logic, soft box, um, some waterproof clothing, some pop ups, and yeah, and then my nothing match goes on the top of that. So, really, as light as you can go, I can go anywhere in Telford now because that is where I live, Telford, so I can go anywhere there. Um, and you know, if the day gets too cold. I get too frustrated, you know, I can go home a bit earlier, so it maximises your fishing chances, and yeah, so just think about that when you're using 12 footers, scopes are the one to be on. Same size as the first. Mm. Nailed again on the rig. On the same rod. Go. The same size as the first. Lovely fish again. Nice common. But I'm going to get him back and go to the next lake. So I'll see you there.
See you in a bit. Just cast out my rod. I'm in a nice little corner, um, not particularly clean, dirty little corner. I should put a solid bag on. Um, as I've seen some fish down there, so hopefully I'll have one. I will. I'll get back to you if I have one. Um, and yeah, still so I'll show you the rig that I'm on and what I caught the fish on it. The other lake, so. I'll see you in a bit. This is the corner I'm in. Um, as you can see, dirty little corner. But I've seen, seen about four or five fish down here, and no one else caught in the lake, so I just went with my instincts. So, yeah, there it is. Got one again. Been here about five minutes, ten minutes. No one else on the lake's caught. Saw some fish in this dirty little corner. And yeah, just nailed bottom lip. Sort him out. There we go. Again. And then show you the fish. Much bigger one from this lake. See there, proof of the pudding. Go where no one else is fishing, and you'll have one. Lovely little mirror. I think he wants to go back. One more for the camera. One more for the camera. It's hard to film this as I'm on my own, so I've had to like put my camera on a bang stick. But there he is. Sorted. Get him back. And then we'll try and get another one for you. This is 
is the rig I'm on. One meter of uh, dead core leader. A little, a little tiny, little tiny lead. Um, then got some fluorocarbon, which is attached to a bit of braid just to give it the movement. Um, yeah, really simple rig. Fishing that blow black style. And this little, this little wonder here is a, a tutti fruit boilie pop up and normally it'd have a bit of it's just fell off but the putty around there which you top it sink and sit nice and low and then around that I'm fishing the Nash tutti fruity boilies brought a bit too key in me in case you know I needed it but got a bit to go home now so yeah that's my rig and then the bait I'm using is a Nash. So try it out and hopefully it'll guarantee you a bite. Get on it. You're right, it's about half twelve now. And I had another fish. Um I'm gonna start packing up shortly. So, you know, at least I have three for you there. First episode and had three car, which is good, you know, you've seen a bit of me on my bike and how I get about. I'm travelling light, so all I'm going to say is thanks for watching. Um, there'll be another episode up shortly, and I want to keep these going. Please like and subscribe. And yeah, I'm going to reel in my rod now, uh, get it all packed up, get off on my bike, and go about my Sunday afternoons as I normally would. So. So yeah, I just want to say thanks and get on, get on travelling light, get on your local park lakes, and yeah, you'll catch plenty of fish if you're fishing right. See you next time. Look, all ready to go. Got my food bag here on the front, and a mat on top, handlebars, and down to the seat, and a bike pan here with all my tackle in. There's the last look. Um, once again, thank you for watching, and see you next time.